Hi, Gemini. This is Alex. Surprise! I'm here to do a weekly reading, not just on Fridays. I'm trying something new. So I'm releasing videos during the week now, in addition to those readings on Fridays as well. I'm going to see how long I can keep this up. But anyway, uh, Monday I'm doing Earth, Tuesday is water, Wednesday is fire, and then Thursday is air. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God, angels, and universe has for my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Gemini. Ooh, I feel my sacral chakra active, Gemini. Are you feeling pretty? Mm-hmm. Somebody, I hear somebody still hasn't come clean. And it feels like they're, they're uh, not express, expressing their emotions. Yeah. Yeah, baby. That's why. That, mm, look at Capricorn showing up in your reading, showing up and showing out. That's why that, I was going to say, that's why that um, clarity card is there, the Ace of Swords. Um, I feel like somebody is trying to pretend like they don't, they ain't been spying on you when they have. It's almost like you might have been posting to your social media or whatever, or it's all like, you know, you've been posting or whatever the case is, and they've been watching everything, by the way, but they try, they're trying to act like they ain't been watching, they haven't been watching. Let me speak almost proper English. Um, uh, I'm hearing sneaking and spying, definitely with the page of swords and that devil there, and then the devil sitting next to the... Um, Ace of Swords, yeah, I just kind of feel like somebody needs to come clean. It's like, you know, they may they may have been breadcrumbing you, which is that Six of Pentacles, but it's need it's like they just need to be out with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good, 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 good cards. Good, look at this. Little dicky. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my God, this is crazy. Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, right? Um, this is somebody to me who knows that they don't have a lot, of, a lot to offer you, but want to be a part of your life. They want to be in your life. They know, you know, they play a small role. They play, play a small position in your life. They don't know how they can contribute, but they want to contribute. Um, they're just waiting and wanting for you to let them in, right? Now, as soon as I said, let them in, these two cards here flashed in front of my eyes spiritually, right? Because I do kind of feel like this person, it's almost like a dual role and a duality. It's almost like they want to be in your life, but they have like this passion and lust for you where they also want access to you sexually as well. You know what I mean? Like they, they want to be in your life and you too. Sorry. They're trying to see um, who you have. They're trying to make sure that, you know, there's not this King of Cups. This, you know, um, oh, sorry. They're trying to make sure that you don't have, or they're wondering if you have a King of Cups. But then what I also heard as well is they're very much interested in cutting this King of Cups out of your life. For a lot of you, this could be your dad, by the way. I'm just getting your dad. Um, I don't know if you're having issues with your dad or your dad is not in great health, which I hope that's not the case, but it's almost like, okay, that makes sense. That's why we got the 10 of cups. Cause it's almost like this person could be kind of quote unquote fronting, trying to be like your dad, trying to be fatherly to you, um, inquiring a lot about your dad. This is a weird reading Gemini, but inquiring about your dad and trying to be your dad, trying to like mimic your dad, trying to be in your life like your dad. Yeah, that makes sense. They want to give to you. They want you to be happy, right? I'm looking at the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. They want to They want to give you love. They want to, you know, they want to be your, you know, the Six of Cups is also the card of charity, right? So they want to be your Superman or your Superwoman. You know what I mean? They want to be that person. Your, that They want to be your go-to person, you know, which is crazy. Here's the problem. They got too much going on. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. You see what I'm saying? It's like, oh God, this is crazy. 
Cause it's like you got to you you got you got your own shit going. On. How are you trying to be my king of cups and you can't even be the the your king your page of cups, right? Like I just kind of feel like they're a little disconnected from reality because it's almost like yeah you want to be this for me but you're not in a position to. This is my card of aloofness, you know, kind of like not really wanting to see or pre it's almost like you're distant and away from. Oh, you're distant in a way. It's almost like you know this person has issues and will not be able to achieve this feat by becoming your king of cups. But it's almost like you're playing and going along with it, right? You know, you know damn well that this person is not even in a position in their life to be your king of anything. You know what I mean? They don't see it. You see it. You know it, right? It's almost like they're in denial about it or they're refusing to see it. But it's like all them damn wands are sitting there right in front of your face. So it's like it's undeniable, you know what I mean? But to an extent, it's almost like you're going to continue to let them try. It's almost like, hey, well, maybe they can convert. Maybe they can kind of, quote unquote, transform. I definitely do feel by these two cards, this person is working hard to try to win your heart. This could be you, you also too, Gemini as well. Angels just flipped it on me and saying, Gemini, are you trying to pretend to be somebody's all at the risk of neglecting being yourself, number one. And then number two, you're trying to be their all for what? You know, it's almost like they don't deserve that. Like nobody deserves that. You know what I mean? But I do kind of feel like as part of that too, you being maybe a pleaser. For some of you, you could be pleasers. And it's almost like you're working to win their heart over. Um, I just keep hearing you want to be their all. You want to be their all. You want to be their all. And la ladies and gentlemen... These are the be there all cards, right? You want to be the object of all of their love, desire, support, nurturing, and everything. And you want to be able to do that long term, happily, happily, happily ever after, right? But I do kind of feel like here definitely too, to an extent, there's some sort of block. There's some sort of denial that's in place here, you know, when it comes to Following your heart, opening your heart, filling someone's heart is what I what I receive. Now with the Ace of Swords, definitely, yes, that is your clarity. It's like, look, you're not my dad. You're not my mom. You're not even my brother. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. That's what the Ace of Swords is. It's very freaking blunt. It don't have time. You know, it's almost like, look, just cut to the chase. Just get to the point. You're not him. But maybe you can work on it, right? It's like, okay, yeah, I'm not him, but I want to be somebody significant. Again, this person is wanting to be a part of your life. This person is wanting to be a key figure in your life, right? You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, okay? You you know, all signs are here at the, on the table, but definitely the movement, you know, this person is slow, number one. It's like you want to be this this to me, but you you try like once every four weeks. You know what I mean? This person is slow. Yes, they're meticulous. Yes, they're determined, but they're still slow. Now, here comes the monkey wrench, the beautiful monkey wrench. It's like, all right, since you can't be my daddy, come on and be my devil. Come on in here and get some of this or bring me some of that, right? Um, what I'm also hearing is digmatized, as in... This person wants to be your all. They want to be this father figure, but they can't stop sexing you down either, right? It's almost like all of this is like their personal growth and development, and then we fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's what these two cards say. And not only that, but this also says to me, you want to kick this off. You want to be this new person in my life. Are your intentions pure or are you really just doing this for yourself? Are you really doing this? You know, Capricorns are incredibly egotistical, okay? Are you doing this to be at the top? Are you doing this to eliminate anybody else who I might have been entertaining? It's almost like I would check this person's intentions because this fiery passion, look at all this red. This fiery passion here says it screams self-indulgence and it screams selfishness to me. So it's almost like we may have this conversation or you may have this conversation with your person, Gemini, but I would check their intentions. I don't think their intentions are as pure as they're making them out to be. 
This person here is not mistakable. Okay, in every last tarot deck, the devil card, you always know who he is when he shows up, right? And I'm also hearing too, are you already knowing this? And are you in denial about it? Thinking, okay, he's going to love me, but knowing damn well, he's just wanting to dick you down. Sorry, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. We're all grown, okay? So, you know, I definitely would check their intentions. And again, these um, aces here are my phallic aces. You know, they're pointy objects, right? So it's like, is he trying to tell you this truth or is she trying to tell you this truth to basically get back into your quote unquote good graces? And now, Gemini, I would check your person. But again, I kind of feel like you know this. This to me is almost like the equivalent of the high priestess. It's almost like you know, you feel, you think, you, you know, it's almost like information is coming to you without any effort from you, Gemini. So I just kind of feel like you, you, you see this situation for what it is, but it's almost like you're going to play stupid, you know, to, you're going to play stupid up until this person reveals their true intentions or they kind of mess up and kind of quote unquote, get caught out there with their pants down, so to speak, as in how you trying to be my daddy? Oh, you trying to be my daddy, right? I'm going to go ahead and leave it there because that one, that one like knocked me out of my chair. But anyway, if this does resonate, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, please. Because yes, love you guys. Bye.